All right, we're about eight minutes into the bell, and I got my fills. I had a, you know, in the morning when you have an earnings trade, they move fast, especially when you have no time at expiration. A lot of these, you know, they expire the day of if you're doing weeklies. So I got my fills taken care of. Now I want to explain some things. So I have a couple of accounts I'm going to go through. But basically, yesterday, very simple, small trade in this account. Uh, you can see the fills yesterday. I did basically a strangle, and I sold some short-term. A premium against that string or leg into an unbalanced double diagonal it's called and you can kind of see here that I just closed this out for 246 and four dollars so the gain was about 200 percent you can kind of see it right here net gain of around 750 on like a 450 dollar trade so these are happening time and time again and there's a lot of strategies that are going on so let me show you this account because this account is also a little easier to see uh, this was one on Applied Opto Electronics. It moved 26% lower today, and I had a 500. And, let's look at this. I did a $674 trade, just a one lot. You know, just just getting people taken care of, and it's up over 100%. So this stock, very expensive implied volatility going into earnings, but it doesn't matter. You have to. It's about the law of averages. So. This trade did not really work out that well. The Grubhub's only up about 8%, but it's about a break even. So all I wanted to show you was I'm doing these trades week after week during the earnings season. And if you want to get involved, head over to earningsrush.com and you can get more information on how you can be involved, take part of the classes, get the alerts, get the spreadsheet, get all the different benefits of trading options through earnings. It's a very exciting and a very lucrative trading strategy and I can help you get there. So these puts right here for Applied Opto Electronics just filled for nearly $16 or 1600 per contract. I bought these for around $3. So I wanna show you another context real fast. This kind of gives you an idea and I don't want you to think, oh, this is just a one-time thing because that's really not the case. I'm gonna show you proof of that in a minute. But you can see over here, these 88 strike puts that I purchased went up 650%. So the way that this strategy works, of course, this, there's different strategies, number one, but with the long strangle strategy, which is one of the best, the, if you get it right, meaning a big move, one direction, one side's going to be worthless. So you kind of cut that in half, and this is still about a 325% gain, which is not bad. And that's kind of showing you how, that, how, that's, how that's created. I mean, that's derived off of the option chain. If you went out longer term for the standard August options, then you give up a little bit there, but you're still making you know triple digit gain. Over on Yelp, which was the other nice trade today, that's up 26%. These did extremely well. And the position that I had on the put side was the 30s. They're worthless pretty much. They went down 96%. And then the calls that I sold went up 360%. Not bad. So the difference between this example is the August 4 options went up a lot more. They're cheaper. They have less time value. So you can see the out of the money calls went up upwards of four or five hundred percent. And I've this is a really these were both really expensive names. Like the IV on this, the implied volatility was you know over a hundred percent. Next one was on Grubhub, just to show you the full spectrum here. The so this was an unbalanced strangle, so I had a bullish weight to it. But the 42 strike puts are basically worthless. The 49 calls that I had were not showing. They're showing a pretty weird measurement here, but they were they were sold for a nice profit. I just got those filled as well. So they were sold for 265, the 49 calls for August 4. The 49 calls for August 4 was so I got a I got a good fill. You know, this is part of the timing element is you got to be plugged in. You know, when your money's on the line and you're going into expiration Friday with no time left, these minutes add up. And every hour that passes, your options, if they're not in the money, are going to become worthless. So you have to be careful with that. So you might just think, you know, these what do they look like? So let's take a look at the Yelp move. This is what Yelp did. This is a little bit of a confusing style. Let me go ahead and simplify that real quick. And then I'll show you a couple other ones, which will really give you a full analysis so damn pretty nice gap love this stock always trade this stock on earnings because it's a gapper she gaps all the time and did it again nice trade that was a win grubhub 
not a huge move, but definitely if you can time your trades and get at a wick, you're doing well. Decent. Was make, make a little bit of profit at least. Next one would be on AAOI. I mean, it had a huge run through all of July and just fell off a cliff. So that was a nice trade. Three great trades. And these, I don't want you to think like, oh, this is rare. You know, stocks don't normally move 20% or more on earnings. Well, let me show you a few examples. And I, I like to kind of create an archive of showing you. So this was stamps. I missed this trade. This was yesterday on the August 3 expir August 3 date for the August 4 expiration. Same time frame. 7,000%, 4,000%, 3,000%. Even the conservative calls went up over 1,000%. And of course, your puts are worthless. And then if you go out to August, give yourself more time. If you're more conservative, still looking at six, seven, eight hundred percent gains. Next one I have. How about lumber liquidators this week? This stock had a great 35% move. It's a little tough to see this image because it had a higher resolution, but. 35% move. So these are happening. And these are all this week. I'm not giving you examples from last quarter. These are all in the last few days. You know, 1,000%, 4,000%. You can see the more conservative longer term, longer term, longer term in earnings talk, you know, 17 days, 10 days, they're still up over 500,000%. But you can kind of see the power of this. How about another one? How about Illumina? Missed this one too. You know, the front week, Four, five, six hundred percent move, fourteen and a half percent. Those were the the weekly, the front week, the monthlies still, you know, two, three, four, upwards of five hundred percent. They're happening every earning cycle. You just have to be prepared. How about this one? This is 3D systems. I traded this one a lot. Five hundred percent, four hundred percent, you know, even the conservative strike selections, you know, two hundred and eighty, three hundred percent. So they're happening every quarter. The question you should ask yourself is, what are you doing to prepare for the next opportunity? Go over to earningsrush.com and I'll see you on the inside. Take care and happy trading.